I, as an actor, found the dialogue always enhanced my performance. It's a showcase for Indian thought leaders. When you see each other's challenges and opportunities, that's when the true relationship building begins. At a venue unlike any other, Harvard University. For 13 years running, leaders in technology. I think uh, government announced the Startup India and Stand Up India initiative from the with Mr. Modi kind of making entrepreneurship sexy. Fashion. I would really like to take a... Uh, Indian create an India label global and, uh, entertainment truly I believe expletives is a manner of expression that should not be curbed in cinema among other fields bared the elements to congregate at the I India conference a Harvard student-led initiative bringing icons from different walks of life to discuss the future of India India has a lot to learn from America America has a lot to learn from India and it's these cross sections that we have really bring that whole nexus of growth. Amit Dixit founded the South Asian Arts Council in Boston and led a panel discussing the evolution of LGBTQ rights in India. These types of in-depth and potentially controversial subject matters keep participants engaged. On my train from New York to Boston, I actually did all this work. Then I came to the hotel, made a printout, and I said, I'm going to sound really intellectual and clever today and really make them believe that I am actually a serious filmmaker who knows what I'm talking about. Uh, clearly because that is not my reputation as a filmmaker. Of course, headliners like Bollywood stalwarts Karan Johar and Imran Khan, not to mention celebrity chef Vikas Khanna, also packed the auditorium. We can all discuss about problems of India, but I tell you, it's a bloody great country. <laughs> After all, it's rare to interact with captains of industry the world over. It's ludicrous that we have to talk about gay rights. It's, it's, it's human rights as, as I see it. it. It is basically an issue of, of civil liberties.